By now, you've probably seen a drone in flight. Heck, you might even own one yourself, but have you ever thought about turning that hobby into a profession? And if so, what sort of certification and training would you need? Airversity is a professional drone pilot training academy. We are focused on commercial, corporate, and public safety pilots. Our goal is to ensure that people know how to fly effectively and to really understand how to use this very sophisticated equipment. Bronwyn Morgan started Airversity because she wanted to encourage people, especially young people, to get into geospatial intelligence and inspire them. She focuses on people who are already flying drones and want to help them become FAA certified as well as expand their overall abilities. We want to make sure that everybody uh, can share the sky safely and understand how this equipment works, what the national airspace requirements are for drones so that they don't create any hazards and, and get into trouble. This should be fun. And then from a public safety perspective, it is continuing to sharpen that skill set, training new uh, public safety, both law enforcement and fire officers and, and other operators on how to use this equipment so that they fully understand um, that. And it's not just the drone, it's all the sensors that go along with it and how these sensors can provide uh, better information and data. Because at the end of the day, it's really all about the data. To train pilots, to get uh, uh, the uh, professional pilot better at what he does to help new pilots understand, well, okay, I got these images, now what do I do with them? We're gonna be teaching a simple ortho mosaic, how to create a map from a flight. So if I'm doing a survey um, for like a, sur a survey company, how to get your flight and then how to get that overlay so you can create a usable map out of that. Bronwyn has always been interested in flight and space, but she didn't start off even thinking about training drone pilots. That, along with my love for aviation and aerospace since I was a kid, you know, I wanted to fly fighters, but I couldn't, women couldn't fly fighters when I left high school. So going to the you know, military academy was, an, it was an option, but I wouldn't be able to fly fighters. And then um, I said, well, I'll just go and become a, you know, an aerospace engineer and work at NASA or JPL and become an astronaut. I didn't do that either. I actually went down another path into business, but my love for this, this, this field um, has always been there. Now with my new certifications and drones becoming a commercial civilian opportunity, I thought this is a perfect marriage for me at this point in time. This is getting her noticed, not only with those seeking to improve their knowledge of drones, but also with the greater geospatial community and the St. Louis civic community at large in the way that I think most everybody in this room does. It's going to have to come from making more people aware and um, bringing more people into the fold. And so that's what Brownman's doing. And it's incredible that she's able to do that, that she's able to do it authentically. And um, she's one of the most exciting assets we have here in the geospatial space.